hey youtube welcome back to my channel in today's recipe we are making a cookie butter pound cake y'all get into it if you are familiar with um biscoff cookies this is the cake for you we have biscoff cookies um biscoff cookie butter and then we got it all in just pound cake form it is just delicious and so heavenly let's get into the recipe so I'm going to start off with some cake flour and I did not sift anything. I'm going to go ahead and, and add some baking powder followed by some salt. And then I'm going to go ahead and whisk this for about a minute just to make sure that everything is well incorporated. You don't want to um, worry if your ingredients are accurate while putting it in just in case something flies out so go ahead and whisk this very well before moving on to our next step so now that we're done we had to pull out the stand mixer i have all of my unsalted butter i'm going to add in my paddle attachment and then we're going to let that beat for about two to five minutes or until um nice and fluffy silky whichever word you want to use just like so Okay, so once you get to this stage, we're going to add in our sugar very slowly. Um, I just put all the sugar in a cup and just poured it in and let it kind of do its thing until I had all of my sugar inside of the bowl. Don't worry, as I always do, um, ingredients will be listed in the description box below. So once all of our sugar is added, this is the consistency that we have. Don't panic. Um, it will thin itself out once we add our other ingredients. So I'm going to scrape down the edges to our bowl. And like I said, if you're not familiar with cookie butter, this is it in all of its lusciousness. Um, Biscoff cookie butter is amazing. It literally tastes like cookie, but it's like in peanut butter form. So this is what we're using. We're going to go ahead and add all of that into the bowl with our sugar and our butter so i will this stuff is sticky like peanut butter so you know it's gonna take a little elbow grease to get it in there but just make sure um you got enough and again ingredients will be listed in the description box below so i'm gonna beat this until it is nice and smooth and creamy just like so and as you can see our mixture got a little bit lighter um, in color so that's how you know that it's pretty much well incorporated so again we're going to scrape down our sides and when making any cakes it is very important to scrape down um, the sides just to make sure that everything is getting well incorporated because as you can see it's still like pieces of cookie butter that kind of stand out so you want to make sure that that is well incorporated because it's cookie butter y'all hmm. okay so now we're going to add in our eggs one at a time and i like to just wait until one mixes in a little bit um just before i add in the other so I'm going to speed up this process. In total, there are six room temperature eggs that you are going to add into this mixture. So once you add in all your eggs, you are going to give this a light little beat for about 30 to 40 seconds. So here I have our milk that we're going to use, and we're going to go ahead and add in our pure vanilla extract right into our milk. And then we're going to give that just a quick little stir, just like so, nothing fancy. And then we're going to set it to the side. So now that our mixture is coming along, um, it's time to add in our dry ingredients, and we're going to alternate them with our wet. So you want to start with dry and end with dry. So I'm going to add about three spoonfuls of dry in at a time. And then you want to pour in your milks, but you want to let it incorporate just a little bit before alternating. OK, so dry, wet, dry, wet until you run out of both. But you want to start and end with dry. Another important thing to note is that all of our ingredients are at room temperature. So our milk is at room temperature, our eggs are at room temperature, um, and our cream cheese and our butter, everything that we're using 
is at room temperature and that is very important to have a successful cake. Okay, so I added all of my flour and all of my milk. So I'm just gonna scrape down as we did earlier and we're gonna scrape down all the edges of the bowl um, before we go ahead and give it one last quick mix. I do this for about 30 seconds. Guys, do not over beat your cake mix. Your cake will be super dense and just like brick. Don't do it. So after I'm done with that, I am going to scrape down my paddle attachment because <laughs> we're not leaving none of this cake behind, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and do a one over with the bowl and just make sure to go underneath and scrape down and give everything a last little like folding before we transfer it into our baking pan. So for this cake in particular, I chose um, this style of a bump pan. You can choose whichever you'd like, it's your prerogative. Um, we're gonna go in with some Baker Joy and spray. So y'all, yeah, the dysfunction, right? <laughs> so I ran out of spray mid video, so I had to go old school and butter up a pan and flour it. Like, you know, you gotta use what you got to get what you want, but you know, we got it done. So use what you have. If you have nonstick spray, please, uh, you know, save yourself a little time and a little butter by spraying that but I ran out unfortunately so yeah so as you can see I'm trying to um pour this batter into my bunt pan kind of pretty much evenly so you want to just kind of go around and make sure that um it's even as you can it's not going to be perfect just make sure that you fill up um kind of even around and then you hit it on the counter for a little bit so it flattens out a bit just like this and then we are going to put this in the oven on 350 for 90 minutes or until golden brown like so. Boom. So this is what she looking like after she got in the oven. And baby, when I say my house smelled like a whole bakery. So we're going to let this chill out and we're going to work on our icing. So in my small bowl, I have cream cheese. I have our cookie butter and I have unsalted butter. All, of course room temperature and then with my hand mixer I am just gonna go ahead and blend this very very well y'all this stuff smells so good oh a cookie butter cream cheese frosting who you know hmm. so once we have beaten um, in our butters and cream cheese you're gonna go ahead and add the first cup of powdered sugar i didn't sift anything um i just went ahead and went straight from the bag to the measuring cup into the bowl and it was just fine okay so we're gonna go ahead and this i would say be very very careful because as you can see at the bottom of my bowl it's not lifting as much so i really had to go in and kind of scrape the bottom of the bowl and use some extra elbow grease so once that is blended well you're going to add in your second cup but that's when it starts getting a little thick okay so you want to add in a teaspoon and a half of milk at a time until you get the desired consistency that you are looking for i like my frosting just a little bit firm but not so yeah i beat it until it got there so um our cake is i flipped it out of the pan i let it cool just like this out in the open um, for close to an hour just to make sure that it wasn't hot when we iced our cake because I didn't want my icing to be runny So go ahead let it hang out and then we come back to ice it So I poured my icing into a measuring cup because it's way easier to Pour onto the cake than like spoon or knife on um, And I put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds just so it gave me a little bit of runny But it does crust up a little bit um, once it's back to like room temperature Okay, so there is no real technique. Just go ahead and pour that on here. And then we're going to take our um, Biscoff cookies. So did I say biscotti earlier? If I did, my bad. Biscoff is what we're using. Uh, we're going to take our cookies and I want to put some in the middle so that certain people, when they get a slice, um, they are able to take a cookie with them. You know, I just thought that was a good idea. Something cute. And then we're going to have one little cookie that kind of sticks up but you know a cake has to have character <laughs> so i also crumbled up some of these cookies and we're just going to sprinkle it on top again no real method to the madness i am just letting the spirit lead me and we are going to hope for the best it's 
she's ready. Just like that, y'all. A cookie butter pound cake. A Biscoff cookie butter pound cake. Baby, I don't I I haven't seen this personally. This cake, it really gave cookie. Like it was so 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 good if you guys make this please let me know down in the comment section how this turned out for you i really look forward to you guys recreating um my recipes again any function baby they you're gonna be the talk of the town okay it's not hard just follow the step do as i do and do as i say and you're gonna be all right okay so thank you guys i will see y'all on the next video